Yeah, hi, good morning guys and welcome to today's products in focus. So looking at the US 30 there, you can see we've broken through potential um, resistance at 17.998 and now we're eyeing up that all-time high on the US 30 at 11.111.9. Well actually it's a little bit high in fact, if I just kind of redraw that a little bit better, it's actually just a little bit above 18.100. Um, um, but nevertheless, um, Interesting day for the for the markets. The most uh, markets there actually pushing up that little bit higher, uh, as it looks increasingly likely some sort of Greece deal will be reached. Uh, I'll be still obviously have this uh, this Friday deadline in play, um, but the market certainly seem confident. And looking at, at, at euro dollar, it's not really done a huge amount uh, following yesterday. Um, there was news later on in the day that uh, some sort of deal had that been reached. That wasn't the case, but certainly there seems to be a little bit of optimism that, that something will happen there. Um, and the U.S. market's uh, moving massively in the right direction. And I was getting very close to, um, to I think we had a new record in the S&P. Uh, certainly, uh, the U.S. there is very close to reaching its next all-time high level on there. So, UK 100. Big day for the uh, for the FTSE, incidentally, as uh, I think we can quite comfortably say that we are now in uncharted territory. An all-time high, 69.13.8. Uh, currently, it's been a little bit higher this morning, so uh, I think that is certainly significant. Uh, looking at this ascending triangle formation, um, it, we, ha we do have a breakout. It's not massively strong, incidentally, um, but it is towards the top end of its, uh, of its level this morning. Uh, so we're currently only about 10 points ahead, but it's enough. Uh, so very close to, uh, not that far away from breaking 7,000 to be fair, but all-time high there on the UK 100 uh, having been reached this morning and last night in fact. So looking at Japan 225, we have seen Euro dollar, uh, sorry, dollar yen push up again, uh, trying to uh, break up past 119, 120 basically is next potential resistance. Uh, but we are now very, very close on Japan 25 to break through 18,306. And that, again, is uh, more than eight-year highs. If we change the interval here to, say, monthly, uh, obviously the, uh, the, the Nikkei has been a lot higher historically. Um, but you can get a bit of a flavor as the next potential resistance level is probably the tip of the candle we have right here, uh, 18,592 could be the next level which isn't actually that far away uh, on the uh, on the Japan 225 but uh, it does give you a bit of a flavor that was all the way back in 2000 um, so we will so we will uh, be kind of at, at 15 year highs uh, should we comfortably break that 18306 level so uh, interesting times in that market and depending on where you think dollar yen is going to go that'll be a, an interesting proxy for understanding where how far Japan 225 can go um, based on its historical support and resistance levels. So if we actually have a look at, at, at your dollar, at dollar, dollar yen, sorry, um, you can see there that we, we are currently trading above 119. Um, we still want to be eyeing up 121 spot 87 as the next potential resistance. The technicals are, are still quite neutral. Uh, there's still room for maneuver here should the dollar get a little bit of extra momentum and uh, should the Greek deal be reached. I'm sure that will be um, quite, quite positive for the US dollar and negative for the Japanese yen. So then looking at uh, crude oil West Texas, very volatile session yesterday. We still managed to post a, a, a positive candle. Um, a lot of volatility throughout the session there to close just slightly above where it opened at the end of the session. And we're still pushing on a little bit higher today. On the intraday charts, it's quite an ugly maneuver. I think it was down about 3.5% at one point yesterday, only to reverse later on in the day. And we're now currently trading above 83 spot 29 uh, on West Texas crude cash. So looking at gold, gold's not had a great time. In fact, yesterday was another bad day uh, for gold and for um, for silver. Um, <clears throat> very negative candle we've got right there, breaking below potential support at 12.18. We now have to be looking at the next potential support at 11.86. The MACD just crossing the zero line. The slow stochastic's just gone to oversold territory, but not no signal yet to... Uh, to, to buy, so no reversal signal as of yet. So 12.18 might act as a potential resistance as broken support tends to reverse. And uh, 11.86 is that next potential support level you want to be looking at. And just have a think about the uh, the US dollar and any macro data. Albeit it's not a huge amount US wise. You've got PPI coming out today at 1.30 UK time. You've got the Bank of England minutes today and unemployment claims at 9.30. That should be good for, for cable. 
And that should be fast forward on the Thursday. Uh, we do have unemployment claims as ever, Eurozone CPI, the Philly Fed numbers, and of course crude oil inventories. Um, and now we should actually have some crude oil data due today as well, actually. Um, but nevertheless, I'm, I'm looking at, at cable GBP USD. Um, we've had a couple of down days bouncing around the 55 period SMA. One spot 54.24, um, looking to be the potential resistance level that you want to be looking at today. With the MACD having crossed the zero line, so that should be bullish. Uh, the slow stochastic just about to go over bot, but there's no yet reversal signal and the RSI still has room to go so it's quite possible should uh, the sterling macro data still end up being quite good if we do get a breakthrough one spot 5424 you could be looking at one spot 56 as the next potential resistance so as ever keep your eye on the chart forum make insights uh, part of your later going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next